It is the feature film adaptation of Stephen King's novel. There was already a TV miniseries back in 1990 starring Tim Curry. Now this is an adaptation that we get to experience in theaters. So in this film we follow a group of kids who live in Derry, Maine, who dub themselves the Losers Club because they're really unpopular. And they all have one thing in common that brings them together, and that is that they hate Pennywise the Dancing Clown. This guy is a killer clown who can shapeshift into whatever the kids are most afraid of, and their mission is to take him down. So just to let you know, I have not actually watched the 1990 Tim Curry version of It. I know about how like it kind of left a cultural impact on the movie world, and everyone kind of remembers it as this thing that gave them all nightmares when they were kids and stuff, but I actually haven't watched that version, so I went into this movie fresh and not knowing a lot about this source material. But what I saw from the trailers and everything looked really good. I was really excited going into this film, and I know there was a lot of hype surrounding it when it was coming out, and I love this movie. First of all, let's talk about the characters because they're probably my favorite thing about the movie. Pretty much all across the board, everyone is giving top-notch performances. And I love the losers. They're so good in this movie. They remind me a lot of the kids in like Stranger Things or E.T. or even Super 8. The director and the writers of this movie really understood the whole ragtag group of kids in the 80s dynamic. One of the best things about this movie is that the characters feel like kids. You feel like you're able to identify with them and they're written really well. And that's really important in a movie like this. Probably my favorite character in this movie is Finn Wolfhard. He's so good in this movie. You probably recognize him as Mike from Stranger Things. I loved him in this film. He's so funny. And that's something that I feel like I have to talk about, because this movie is a lot more funny than it is scary. There's not a lot of scares in this film. And that's mainly because it kind of revolves around the kids for the whole time, and they're always cracking jokes and stuff, and you don't see Pennywise a lot throughout this film. So we get a much more focused story on the kids than just a bunch of jump scares for the whole movie. And I really enjoyed it. I like that about the movie. Some people are going to walk into this film expecting a straight up horror movie. And they might be disappointed in the fact that it's not really that scary at all. But for me it totally worked because there's so much good humor in this movie. And it really made this film entertaining. A lot of this movie is riding on the success of Pennywise the Clown. Is he really scary? Does he actually feel like a threat to these kids? And is he actually menacing? I remember when the studio released that first picture of Pennywise and everybody was like, ah, he looks terrible, he looks like shit, he looks awful. Basically what the internet does with everything. And this movie confirms that you cannot judge something like that based on one picture because Pennywise, the dancing clown in this movie, is terrifying. There's a really nice blend of CGI and practical effects with this character that made his performance believable for 2017. This film does a really good job at not showing him too much, but also not showing him too little because this movie has to follow the same kind of dynamic as Jaws or Alien. You can't show the creature, or in this case the villain, too much. But you also want him to be a big part of the movie, and Pennywise is a big part of this movie. Bill Skarsgård did a great job with this character, and I can't wait to see more of him. So this movie is filled with good performances, really fun characters, a terrifying villain, and also I haven't talked about this yet, from a technical standpoint this movie is amazing. I do have a couple flaws with this movie, they're very minor. But they all kind of start around the first 20 minutes of the movie. I kind of thought the introduction in this film threw a lot at you and they tried to set up all these characters and it didn't really flow as well as I thought it should have. There were parts that felt kind of tonally inconsistent and it just felt like a jumbled, rocky opening. But once you get past that first 20 minutes, I think this film really starts to come into itself and it gets really fun. And it starts to know what it is and what it's trying to do. I had a ton of fun with it. I loved the characters. I loved the villain. And I thought it was really funny, which surprised me in a good way. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed this movie. But before you go see it, I can't stress enough the fact that this isn't really a scary movie. It is a horror movie, but it's very funny. And there's a lot of jokes in this film. Hopefully you can have as much fun with it as I did, because this movie really did remind me of how much fun a new horror movie can be. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. I understand this video is really late. I'm not going to lie. I know. I've gotten really off track this month with all the movies I want to talk about. If all goes well, I'm planning to review Mother very soon, also Kingsman the Secret Service, and next week I'm seeing Blade Runner 2049, and I'm really excited about that. As always, I'll try to be putting out more videos consistently as I can, and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.